When you're trying to get your script in front of a producer, there will likely be at least one gatekeeper. Most of the time, this is going to be the producer's reader or story analyst. I spoke with Michael Sweeney, a union story analyst based in LA who has worked reading scripts for Netflix, Yellowstone's 101 Studios and other production companies. A longer video with the whole interview is coming up, but I wanted to share this one gem with you. I asked Michael, what's the one thing that would make the biggest difference if writers took it to heart? If only writers would pace themselves better. That's always like one of the biggest things that I wind up seeing is that writers don't know how to pace whether it be an over uh, over embellishing the action, whether it be uh, a thing that I find so often is that there are times where uh, in in scripts that have a high level of action and then a high level of calm, there's all this character development clumped into the moments of calm because they don't know how to factor in character into action. The the idea that a character's choices define them more than their words. So oftentimes, even if it's a high speed car chase whether a character decides to do a or b that could say so much more than uh what's known in a script as like a campfire sequence where like there's a moment of calm and they wax poetical about their childhood also a uh, character you know knowing your character so well like it's the there, there's always that that the picture of um you know how the the iceberg there's more of the iceberg under the surface than there is atop the surface and i'm sure anybody who studied screenwriting has probably seen this visual of when you develop your character you yourself need to know the entire iceberg even though what people are seeing is just the top of the iceberg and um a very brief and very specific example it's going to seem very odd that i i bring this up but it happens so often that i feel that the the viewers would uh benefit from this um is if you have a group of characters and usually I say, like, you have a main character and it's like, it's their three friends. If those three friends don't have varying perspectives and you could interchange the dialogue with any of them and it would not make a difference, make it one friend. Or better yet, cut them. Make sure that every single character you write, somebody would want to play. Even if it's a small role, even if it's a role that doesn't have a name, make sure that they are absolutely necessary like when you are writing and it's about this could be apply to anything but if you look at a character a location anything and you think to yourself what would i lose if this was cut if you don't have an answer to that question then you got a problem you got to develop it more or you got to cut it you got to cut it loose in the full interview, we cover the process of assessing a script for a producer, how to manage the switch from analytical to creative thinking, genre expectations and creative freedom, the impact of streaming services, working in the producer's office versus from home, and then Michael's own script in development. If you're working, if you're looking for an analyst for your script, you can find Michael's details below this video. But if your script is not quite ready yet, I recommend taking the immersion script training to adopt effective techniques and proper style. Keep an eye out for the full interview. Happy watching, happy writing. Cheers.